Okay. In the previous video, uh, I showed you uh, the dashboard, the brief about dashboard. Now let's see uh, in the parameters section, like uh, how to edit or how to uh, parameterize your car. Mm -hmm. So first go to, uh, let's go to assembly. In the configuration, uh, you can set the, your FR1. Like for this, you need to uh, study the user manual, okay? And in the user manual, you will get, um, okay, this, okay, I have already opened it. You can go and just find F uh, R1, okay, and this, you can get the positioning type and all, okay. You will all get uh, from here, okay, tire model. All the data is already available with us. Okay, you can go go through here and just see what is FR1 and uh, what is FRT. Okay, and you can get the overall mass which you entered in this while generating your car. This unloaded weight. Okay, the unloaded weight plus uh, the weights of batteries the weight of uh, uh, your motor and all this will be added and the final weight will be shown here then in the engine mount uh, it, it depends on which pattern you are using but you can position and orient all these things from here then in the body uh, okay for that you need to first go through here and the graphic in the graphic you will see all these things here okay if you can see the bodies okay i will uncheck all these things okay now you can see the bodies okay this is wheel fr this is wheel body a and this is wheel rr okay so this is fr d and fr1 is now on the same location and uh, these markers and portraits okay. you can go here and check in the info you can get the info about uh about this all these things wheelbase distribution distance from rear and all <clears throat> that's you have to try from yourself then in the chassis you can set okay the position of your wheel and all and the massive inertia basically uh, the the data it is which is shown here it will be automatically calculated but if you want to change it you can do it on your own okay in the powertrain you have the locations you have to put locations if you want you can trim loads from here okay and you can mount the sensors okay first for the sensor mounting you need to go to sensors you need to add one sensor okay let's say road Okay, now we have added center. Then let's come back to assembly in the sensor mountings. You can go to plus, then you can select the sensor. You can select a sensor, and this mounting is shown here. Okay. Now in the body, in the body, you have this. Uh, okay, let's make it rigid. Then the, you can put the mass of your body, position. Then you can also go to the graphic. You can see where it is. Then in the outer shell, ah, yeah, this is the part of importing your OBJ. You can go to 3D object and uh, you can, you will be seen if you have imported any MobJ or OBJ or 3DS or DA file. You can see it and select it and it will be imported. And the picture, as I said, you can add a picture. You can also say it from here, but now we don't have it. You can also use PNG as well. You can also use PNG, you can use JPG. It will automatically scale but many times it's possible that it will not be uh, up to the point as the dimension is concerned and also you can auto generate it okay you can auto generate but for that you need to select the 3d obj and it will go to ipg movie and it will auto generate the sketch in the aer aerodynamics basically you can keep it as default but uh, i would like to just check whether this marker is at uh, uh, is at the point you want okay and the marker is at the point you want okay 
if it's basically at the nose uh, then uh, it's okay then uh, in the suspension you can add the control unit you can uh, do the springs like uh, you have uh, do it, it like you can choose the many options okay like you can uh, add the hook and spring you can do one one look up table is basically uh, it's variable when when the, your stiffness is varying but if it's a uh, characteristic value you want to put then you can basically uh, put the stiffness here and same for rear okay same for rear in the parasitic uh, effects okay th that depends on your design if you are adding it then uh, just go here and then put the values for damper okay for the damper if you are using Newtonian damper plus mount there's also option and this is option for same option for characteristic value and 1d lookup table depends on uh, which calculations you are done or which type of uh, suspension you are using then buffer in the buffer you have the open spring and then characteristic value for the rear and front same stabilizer if you are using you have the same inputs you have to do then the kinematics okay ah, this is the point where the suspension members have to work a lot okay this is the point of uh, focus okay for the front you have the options like linear two degree of freedom linear three degree of freedom then uh mbs model like multi-body suspension file you can do okay for the rear it is uh two degree uh, it starts from one degree of freedom then two degree three degree and mbs okay so it depends on your design like it's your three wheeler it's a four wheeler or it's it's uh type of suspension which you are using for the rear side okay it depends okay and this tx ty t there what it is rx ry r0 what it is you can get from the user manual okay you can simply get it from user manuals these are basically caster camber uh two in values and these are uh, variations in uh, uh, wheelbase and track width okay in the compliance you can add if you are using it okay you can add it from here like linear one degree of freedom uh, then uh, in the wheel bearing you can add the wheel bearing frictions for front and rear both and if if you are uh, doing it in depth then you can add the uh, external forces as well for the steering uh, it depends on which type which model you want to use then it's optional static steer ratio dynamic steer ratio okay and the, the the upcoming like it will open upcoming which like dynamic if i select then it will mechanical model will be on if i if i choose the power steering then power assist all these things will work and this the the sub options like sub inputs you want you can understand what these things are from uh, uh, user manuals okay definitely user manuals and then you can uh, select the tires from here okay select the tires now if we haven't created any tire or generator so it's blank but you can select for now from examples but if you want to use your own tire then generate them you it uh, those will be shown here okay and select them you you will use it okay then in the brakes uh, depends which type of brake you are using then in the hydraulics uh, there uh, you can do this changes in here okay basically uh, these options are available and you need to uh, search them in the user manuals so you need to uh, understand what these options are for and with these iterations you will definitely get your car panel parameterized uh, which is uh, will be a twin of your uh, physical model then in the power train uh, it is having a lot of inputs okay like general in general uh, in general you need to bring on friction you need to select which type of drive it is if it's electrical how many motors are there which accelerates in drive source you need to put the values like starter motor clutch gearbox and, and it all the, these options will be changed as per you selected if i select electrical then uh, the the tire source options will be different like a gearbox electric motor drive line and rear axle so basically just explore these things uh, from the user manual okay like this here and graphics is shown here graphics is shown here in the sensors you can add the sensor 
depending on your own uh, requirement and the sensor uh, point which sensor does which uh, work it's all uh, shown in the user manual okay and the data is not available on google okay so don't uh, waste your time in searching it because the software data is not available on google because it's commercial software and uh, that's why I request you to go through the user manuals. Those will definitely help you. And after all these things, you need to save your car and the car will be saved. Uh, okay. And if I no, no, cancel it, if I click here and if I want to save as, then you can go, you can give your car a name like demo and you can save it. Okay. Now see, we have generated a car, so it's showing here Tesla demo. Okay. Now I think I think uh, we will we will keep this session up to this point, and for the next we will do tire generation. Thank you.